Basketball, KSOU, KIHK Sports, and area sponsors are proud to bring you live coverage of this year's state tournament. Now let's join KSOU, KIHK Sports Director Doug Brook at the Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines for state tournament basketball. And good evening, everyone, and welcome to Wells Fargo Arena as we get set for state championship basketball tonight on KSOU. A state championship doubleheader tonight. First up, the Class 1A title matchup between the West Lion Wildcats and the Dunkerton Raiders. And that'll be followed by the Class 2A championship as the Western Christian Wolfpack goes up against the West Fork Warhawks. Should be a fun night of high school basketball with the state titles on the line. Let's get you caught up on what's happened uh, earlier today here at the state tournament this afternoon in the Class 4A semifinals. Iowa City West beat Bettendorf 49-46, to and it was West Des Moines Valley over Sioux City North 53 53- to 49, so Iowa City West and West Des Moines Valley will meet for the Class 4A championship game tomorrow night. Also this morning in the Class 1A consolation game, Belmont Clemmy beat Kyoto 68-53, to and in the Class 2A consolation game, it was Trainer defeating Cascade 53-49 to in overtime. Also today at the NAIA uh, National Tournament, Division II Women's National Championships in Sioux City. Northwestern defeated Huntington 92-68 to as the Red Raiders move into the Elite Eight and will match up against College of the Ozarks in the uh, quarterfinal round tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock, a game that we'll have for you on 93.9 FM and online at SiouxCountyRadio.com courtesy of uh, Premier Bank. Uh, Also at the women's tournament, Hastings is playing Indiana Wesleyan this evening. At the men's national tournament, just a one GPAC team remaining, and that is Midland. They defeated St. Xavier this morning, 64-61, as Midland moves into the uh, quarterfinal round of the NAIA Division II men's national tournament at Point Lookout, Missouri. We get set for West Lyon and Dunkerton, the Class 1A state championship contest here at Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines. I'll be back with more after a two-minute break. You're listening to West Lyon State Tournament Basketball on KSOU. Back here at Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines, a Class 1A state championship. The West Lion Wildcats against the Dunkerton Raiders. West Lion coming into tonight's contest a record of 22-5. and They're the number eight seed heading into this Class 1A state tournament, but knocked off the number one seed, Newell Fonda, in the opening round on Monday, 72-57. And then came back and downed Kyoto yesterday in the semifinals, 61 to 40. West Lion, the number eight seed, ranked number eight in 1A in the Radio Iowa and the Iowa Sports Spotlight poll, receiving votes in the AP poll. The Dunkerton Raiders are the number three seed in the state tournament field. They come into the matchup with a record of 27 and one, and have won 18 straight. They were first in the North Star, the Iowa Star North Conference, with a mark of 15-1. and one. Their only loss on the season came to the Meskwaki Settlement School. Dunkerton defeated East Mills in the opening round on Monday, 50-38. to 38. Three players scored in double digits, led by Corey Kunstling, Trevor Jacobson, and Nick Anderson. Then in the semifinal round yesterday... Dunkerton top to Belmont Clemmy, 53 to 49. Kunston with 12 points, 11 rebounds. Trevor Jacobson, a 20 point effort. Nick Anderson and Jordan Kubix uh, dished out four assists each. The team numbers, uh, by the way, uh, Dunkerton making its fourth state tournament appearance, an 8 and 1 all time uh, state tournament record, finished first 
in 1933 and in 2004, also qualified in 1932, and now again in 2014. Of course, West Lyon making its first ever basketball state tournament appearance. The numbers, West Lyon comes in averaging 68.4 points a game offensively, Dunkerton scoring 65.3 points a game. Defensively, Dunkerton giving up under 40 points a game, 39.9 points, while West Lyon is allowing 50.3 points a game. The Wildcats are second entering the state tournament with 168 threes, while Dunkerton with 135. Dunkerton through two state tournament games, a plus nine rebound margin. West Lyon a plus five rebound margin. Dunkerton a minus two turnover margin here in two state tournament games, while West Lyon with a plus five turnover margin. Corey Kunstling, a 6'11 post player, comes in to the state tournament. 21 points, 10.8 rebounds, and 4.2 blocks a game. He's the tallest player in the state tournament at 6'11", and has led Dunkerton in scoring, rebounding, and block shots three years in a row. He, uh, coming into the state tournament, had 1,268 career points, 822 rebounds, 327 uh, block shots. Trevor Jacobson averaging 12.6 points and leads the squad with 64 threes. Through two games in Des Moines here, he's the state tournament's leading scorer in Class 1A with 33 total points. Scored 13 in the quarterfinal game and 20 in the semifinal round yesterday. Then Jordan Cubitt's averaging 10 points and 3.2 assists per game. The Wildcats, uh, very balanced, led by uh, Brandon Snyder. He's averaging uh, 13.7 points a game. Cody Bauman, 13.5. Casey Murley, 12.3. Kyle Grunewig, 11.3. Kyle Grunewig and Casey Murley are the second and third leading scorers here in the state tournament with 32 and 31 points, respectively. The Class 1A state championship game, the West Lyon Wildcats and the Dunkerton Raiders. We'll hear from West Lyon coach Aaron Johnson after a two-minute break. You're listening to West Lyon State Tournament Basketball on KSOU. West Lyon coach Aaron Johnson joins me. And uh, coach, a great opportunity for your kids tonight to, to play for a state championship. Uh, they've won several on the football field, but uh, first time ever here at the state tournament for basketball and uh, an opportunity to, to bring home the gold. Yeah, uh, I'm excited for uh, my team, my school, my program. Um, these kids have worked uh, awfully hard on the hardwood just as they have in the weight room for football, and uh, I hope they make the most of this opportunity. A good win yesterday uh, over Kyoto, really able to, to dominate inside. Yeah, um, again, it's just all about defense for us, and it's going to be the same way tonight. But, um, you know, the pressure that we applied yesterday uh, created a lot of offense for us. And, uh, you know, again, our, our, our kids on the perimeter and Chase Grohwald off the bench offered a good spark for us. And, uh, you know, I hope that uh, game plan follows through here as well. Casey Murley really had a big day with the 17 points, four assists, four steals, four threes. Case had a, a great all-around game yesterday, and I've been kind of watching him this week, and he just seems like he's uh, really absorbing the moment, uh, making the most of it. And, uh, you know, he's had a good couple days of practice here, so we'll see what happens. Dunkerton, the opponent tonight, uh, they present some unique challenges, uh, particularly with the 6'11 kid inside. Yeah, very similar to Lamar's Galen. Uh, in that regard, um, you know, just watching him the one game yesterday, he's one heck of a ball player, and uh, we're going to have to find ways to uh, um, try to contain him as much as we can. Um, but again, our, our perimeter guys as well is going to have to set the tone, and hopefully we can mi- uh, minimize his touches. He presents some challenges on the defensive end, too. Yep, uh, he's, uh, he's awfully long, um, but uh, I feel that if we move the ball as well as we have been, I think we got a great shot to do some good things. Trevor Jacobson right now leading the the state tournament field in scoring. Obviously, you have to be aware of him, of him as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, just watching him, he, he's a scorer. He, he likes to catch and shoot. He likes to dribble, penetrate. And uh, we're going to have to do a good job when he has the ball, and we're we'll going to have to do an even better job when he doesn't have the ball and try to minimize his touches as well. 
Defensively, they give up only about 40 points a game. What do they like to do at defensively? Uh, from what we've seen, half-court man, 2-3 zone. Obviously, they want to use their length down low. I um, haven't seen any pressure form up to this point, but uh, we're ready for anything. What other things stand out about Dunkerton? Um, from what I've seen, obviously, it's the glass uh, with their length and size. Um, you know, we're going to continue to do the things that we want to do as well, and uh, hopefully it's good enough for tonight. Anything else important for West Lyon tonight? Um, what's important for us is that we stay together. Um, you know, with, with wallets going on, I hear the hoopla and whatnot. Um, I think my kids are dialed in, and I think that uh, they'll continue to stay dialed in, and we just need to make sure we play for 32 minutes. Thanks, Aaron. Good luck tonight. Thanks, Doug. West Lyon coach Aaron Johnson joining me on tonight's pregame show. Back with more from Wells Fargo Arena after this timeout. You're listening to West Lyon State Tournament Basketball on KSOU. Welcome back to Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines. It's the Class 1A State Championship game tonight on the voice of Northwest Iowa Sports. 93.9 KSOU-FM, Sioux Center, Iowa, and online at SiouxCountyRadio.com, courtesy of Premier Bank. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. First for the Raiders of Dunkerton, who will be the visiting team on the scoreboard tonight. Coming into tonight's contest with a record of 27 and 1. At guard will be Nick Anderson. He's a 5'10 senior. Jordan Cubitz is a 6'1 senior. Trevor Jacobson, a 5'10 senior. At forward, Zach Fisher, a 6'3 senior. And at center, Corey Kunstling. He's a 6'11 senior. Off the bench, uh, the top subs are Derek Gamerdinger, a 6'2 senior. Bryce Rigdon, a 5'8 junior. And uh, the starting lineups once again for Dunkerton, Nick Anderson, Jordan Cubitz, Trevor Jacobson, Zach Fisher, and Corey Kunstling. For the West Lion Wildcats and head coach Aaron Johnson, who come into today's contest with a record of 22 and 5. At the point will be Brandon Snyder, a 6'1 senior. His running mate in the backcourt, Kyle Grunewig, a 5'11 senior. At forward, Caleb Heyer, a 6'2 senior, and Casey Murley, a 6'6 senior. In the post, Cody Bauman, a 6'5 senior. Top subs for the Wildcats, Chase Grotewald, a 5'11 junior, and B.J. Van Ruckel, a 6'5 junior. The starting five, Brandon Snyder, Kyle Grunewig, Caleb Heyer, Casey Murley, and Cody Bauman. The West Lion Wildcats coached by Aaron Johnson and the Dunkerton Raiders coached by Brian Brungard. We will be about set for the tip-off after another two-minute break. You're listening to West Lion State Tournament Basketball on KSOU. Today's West Lion State Basketball Finals are brought to you in part by Dr. Jolene K. Bruns, Dentistry of Inwood. Dr. Bruns can help you in general dentistry, and they specialize in both cosmetic and kids' dentistry. Their full-service dentistry office and are located at 213 South Main Street at Inwood. Phone 753-2322 for an appointment. Bruns Dentistry says, Go Wildcats! At Inwood's only bar and grill, owners Lori and Bob Larson are serving up their very own family recipes. From their half-pound burger to their tender steaks grilled to perfection, Chef Crazy Bob Larson makes his own beer batter for their walleye and catfish. And of course, to complement their homemade onion rings, there's nothing like it in the tri-state area. They've got $5.99 lunch specials Monday through Friday, hot and ready, in and out, in less than a half hour. Come on down to Inwood's only bar and grill, and you'll be telling your friends, now that's good food. BGL Livestock Trucking, LLC, is proud to be sponsoring the West Lion Wildcats at State Basketball. BGL Livestock Trucking specializes in delivering cattle from coast to coast. They also do local hog deliveries. For clean livestock trailers and on-time trucking, remember to call Bill, Pam, or Kenny at BGL Livestock Trucking, LLC, at Inwood. Call them locally at 753-2550 or toll-free at 800-676-2748. 
Let Cruise and Cruise certified public accountants assist you with your tax preparation and much more. Since 1986, the primary objective of Cruise and Cruise has been to help their clients attain their financial goals by providing them with the best professional services available. The tax professionals at Cruise and Cruise can assist you with tax preparation, retirement consulting, business consulting, auditing, bookkeeping, payroll services, computer consulting, and many other services. Cruise and Cruise certified public accountants, helping you attain your financial goals. It's their commitment. Fargo Arena in Des Moines. Starting lineups are being introduced to the fans here at the well for tonight's Class 1A state championship game between West Lyon and uh, Dunkerton. Uh, following this 1A state title contest, we'll have the 2A state championship game between Western Christian and West Forks, and that's a rematch in the class uh, 2A state championship game in 2011. And uh, Dunkerton played for, or rather West Fork also played for the title a year ago and lost the championship to uh, Sheldon. We'll talk more about that in our pregame for uh, the 2A championship game between Western Christian and uh, West Fork. But uh, the 1A championship game uh, should be a lot of fun as well. Corey Kunstling, a 6'11 senior post player, averaging a double-double on the year, 21 points, 11 rebounds. He's headed to play basketball at Drake next year. We'll see if the Wildcats are able to uh, get the ball inside against that 6'11 post player as they've done so effectively in the first two games of uh, this state tournament. Both teams out rebounding their opponents here in Des Moines with uh, Dunkerton a plus nine rebound margin and West Lyon a plus five. So that will be certainly something that we'll want to watch as this game uh, progresses here tonight at Wells Fargo Arena. Of course, the pace of this game will likely to be uh, slowed down a bit with the TV. There will be uh, extra timeouts uh, throughout the course of the night with the uh, TV timeouts uh, throughout the course of the game, and that tends to take away some of the rhythm from this uh, championship game. We'll see how that uh, progresses and see which team can uh, keep their composure over the course of the ball game uh, here tonight. Just about set to tip it off here at Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines. West Lyon against uh, Dunkerton for the Class 1A State Championship. West Lyon coming in with a record of 22 and 5. And Dunkerton now with a record of 26 and 1. As we get set to tip it off, Cody Bauman will step into the center circle for West Lyon. Corey Kunstling will jump center. For Dunkerton, tonight's tip-off is brought to you by Perspective Insurance, leading the way in insurance in Sheldon, Sioux Center, and Rock Valley. And uh, everybody holds on and waits here for the uh, television people to get back. Now we're set. There's the horn. Kunstling into the center circle for Dunkerton. And Bauman will jump center for West Lyon. Tonight's game brought to you in part by BGL Livestock Trucking, Cruise and Cruise PC, Meyer Electric, and Northwest Iowa Community College. Here we go with the tip off, and we're underway. The opening cap controlled by West Lyon. Snyder into the front court for the Wildcats. Snyder on the dribble. Left side pass comes to Grunewick. Grunewick, they take it inside to Bauman. His shot rejected by Kunstling. And Dunkerton comes up with a basketball. So the Wildcats immediately go inside, and Kunstling says, uh uh. And the West Line will have the basketball, but here's the steal. Higher takes it the length of the floor for the layup, and West Lyon jumps out on top 
two to nothing on a Dunkerton turnover. Raiders with the basketball. It's Nick Anderson bringing it into the front court. He's the leading scorer here in the Class 1A tournament field. Now Kunstling has it out on the right wing. Spins to the baseline. Cut off. Nice job in there by Bauman. Now a jumper from the right side is off the mark for Fisher. Rebound controlled by West Lyon. Brandon Snyder into the front court. To Casey Murley. Back underneath. Higher. His shot altered by Kunstling. Higher saves it from going out of bounds. But then it's tipped away. And out of bounds off of Nick Anderson of uh, Dunkerton. So higher taking it down low that time, and his shot was altered. Wasn't blocked, it wasn't tipped, but he changed his shot because of the presence of Kunstling in there. Now Snyder with the inbound pass to Grunewig. Grunewig on the drive to the lane, lays it high off the rim, off the backboard, no good, but a whistle and a foul underneath there. And Kyle Grunewig will head to the free throw line for the West Lion Wildcats. And he will shoot a pair. The foul was on Corey Kunstling, his first personal. Two free throws for Grunewig as he steps to the line. The first one is up and good. Grunewig, a 55.9% free throw shooter, makes it 3 to nothing in favor of West Lyon. Grunewig, though, the third leading scorer in the state tournament field. Second free throw up. And in as he knocks down a pair. It's four to nothing in favor of the Wildcats and some full court pressure put on by West Lyons. Zach Fisher in the backcourt for Dunkerton gets it ahead to Anderson at his pocket pick, stolen away. Snyder headed up the court for the breakaway layup. Brandon Snyder, and it is six to nothing in favor of West Lyons. Again, the full court pressure put on Dunkerton with it in the backcourt. Nick Anderson. Snyder almost poked it away again. Now Anderson travels with the basketball and a Dunkerton turnover. West Lyon will get the ball back. Tonight's Class 1A state championship game is courtesy of Caswell Plumbing and Heating, Farmers Elevator Cooperative, Security Savings Bank, Luso Plumbing, Heating, and Electrico. West Lyon basketball. On the right wing is Grunewig. Grunewig inside, higher, posting up, turn around jumper, rims in and out, no good. Rebound grabbed by Cubix, and Dunkerton will come back with the basketball into the front court. Come the Raiders to Cubix, back out to Anderson. Anderson over to the left wing is Zach Fisher. Now out high to Anderson again. Anderson swings it around to the right side, Cubix. Off to Anderson. Anderson gives a ball fake. He'll shoot it after a dribble. Shot no good. Higher with the rebound for West Lyon. Wildcats push up the floor. Into the lane. Snyder ahead. Bauman up and in. And one. A foul on Kunstling. That's his second personal. And a three-point play opportunity coming up for Cody Bauman. It is eight to nothing in favor of West Lyon. And we have our first TV timeout with 5.32 left to go in the first quarter. Wildcats 8, Raiders nothing. We'll be back in a minute. You're listening to West Lions State Tournament Basketball on KSOU. Northwest Iowa Community College is your local award-winning college. NCC has a 98% job placement rate. Industrial and instrumentation control student Chad Bynes of Hall says you can find a job anywhere in this field. I already have a job lined up after graduation. I was able to choose the right one for me. Find out more by visiting the NCC website at nwicc.edu or text THUNDER to 82942. There's a place for you at Northwest Iowa Community College. Caswell Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning is proud to sponsor our Northwest Iowa boys in the state basketball tournament. See Caswell's at Inwood for residential and light commercial work. They feature Lennox furnaces and heat pumps, Moen faucets, and American Standard plumbing fixtures. Caswell's have been serving the tri-state area for over 40 years. It's Caswell Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning of Inwood. Call them at 712-753-4911. Cody Bauman headed to the free throw line for West Lyon as he will attempt 
to complete a three-point play as Corey Kunstling picks up his second personal foul. Kunstling staying in the Dunkerton lineup with 5.32 left to go in the uh, first quarter. So stepping to the free throw line for the Wildcats will be Cody Bauman. He comes in 65.1% free throw shooter on the year. And his free throw attempt is up and no good off the iron. Rebound is picked up by Zach Fisher and uh, Dunkerton with the basketball. Nick Anderson again. The Wildcats will apply some pressure. Across the timeline is Anderson. Anderson gives the ball up off the dribble. Trevor Jacobson into the corner. A three by Cubitz is no good. Bauman ramps up the rebound for West Lyon, and the Wildcats will come back with the basketball. Higher into the front court. Top of the key to Snyder. Back to higher, out on the right wing, across it goes to Snyder. Snyder will back it up, left side, some pushing and shoving underneath, and a foul called away from the ball. That's going to be on Cody Bauman of West Lyon. Bauman picks up his first, first team foul called against the Wildcats. And the basketball will belong to Dunkerton with 4.54 left to go. In the first quarter, Dunkerton with it. Trevor Jacobson into the front court. Over to the left wing, Anderson. Anderson pass across the lane is tipped, but picked up out front by Jacobson. Now a reverse layup by Nick Anderson, and Dunkerton is on the board, 8-2. to two. West Lyon with the advantage. Snyder into the front court for the Wildcats. Snyder to the left side, Grunewick to higher, higher, spin move, baseline, turnaround jumper, in and out, no good, higher with his own rebound, back up, no good, Kunstling grabs the rebound for Dunkerton, and back come the Raiders, Trevor Jacobson will push it, down the lane, his shot partially blocked, Murley comes away with a rebound for West Lyon, here come the Wildcats, higher trying to save it from going out of bounds, and it hits the back of the backboard, and Dunkerton will have the basketball. So out of bounds, and it'll be Dunkerton's basketball. B.J. Van Ruckel comes into the West Lion lineup. Tonight's game brought to you in part by Post Equipment, Grand Falls Casino, Meyer Electric of Larchwood, and West Rock Construction. Four minutes left to go in the first quarter. Trevor Jacobson into the front court for Dunkerton. Out high it comes, Nick Anderson at the top of the circle. Anderson out to the right wing, Zach Fisher back out front to Anderson. Anderson lobs, they get it in to Kunstling, and a foul whistled against the Wildcats. That's going to be charged to B.J. Ben Ruckel, that's his first personal. 8-2 8-2 to two, West Lyon with the lead. 3.45 left to go in the first quarter. We have a timeout on the floor. We'll be back after this timeout. You're listening to West Lyon State Tournament Basketball on KSOU. This is Brent Meyer from the Farmers Elevator Co-op. Today's cattle require rations with greater nutrient density to help them reach their genetic potential for fast and efficient lean muscle growth. Steak maker supplements from the Land O'Lakes Purina Feeds can be tailored to fit the specific demands of your feedlot operation. The beef consultants here at Farmers Elevated Co-op use their proprietary ration balancing system to help you design a feed program that will maximize the performance and efficiency of your cattle. You can count on us at Security Savings Bank to help you be free. Around-the-clock banking, online bill pay, and e-statements all make your life a little easier. All these allow you the freedom of convenient banking at Security Savings Bank. Freeing up time and avoiding the clutter of paper bills lying around allows you to spend your free time on more important things like you and your family. Count on us for a little freedom with free Internet banking at Security Savings Bank, Larchwood, Inwood, George, and Canton. 
Member FDIC, equal housing lender. The folks at Luthold Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical of Leicester are proud sponsors of West Lion Basketball at State. They do light commercial and residential work. Best of all, they specialize in geothermal heating and cooling. Luthold's are dealers for four different geothermal companies and do the whole package from installation to the loops to the well drilling. In the geothermal business since 1979, it's Luthold Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical of Leicester. 345 left to go in the uh, first quarter. West Lion 8, Dunkerton 2. And it will be Dunkerton's basketball when we resume action here. On the court at Wells Fargo Arena, they'll be shooting free throws. Nope, they'll have the ball out of bounds. Bryce Rigdon, a 5'8 junior, has checked into the uh, Dunkerton lineup here. As they get set to inbound it. And in it comes. Nice cut down the lane. Blocked from behind by Murley. Trevor Jacobson with the nice cut down the right side of the lane. Had it blocked from behind by Murley and out of bounds. And Dunkerton with the ball. Inbounds pass to Kunstling. Kunstling out wing to Anderson. Anderson at the top of the key. They sag off. Inside it comes to Kunstling. Backs down on Van Ruckel with the jump hook left hand. No good. Higher grabs the rebound and West Lyon. Into the front court with the basketball. It's Snyder at the top of the circle. Snyder out to the right wing. Now to the free throw line. Snyder sends the ball out to Grunewig. A whistle. Three seconds called on West Lyon. So one of the West Lyon players gets called to caught into the lane. That is the second West Lyon turnover of the game. Dunkerton has turned it over three times. And into the front court, Dunkerton with the basketball. Out high is Nick Anderson into the left corner. A three by Fisher is off the mark, but an offensive rebound picked up by Trevor Jacobson. And he is fouled on the play. That's going to be charged to Brandon Snyder. Snyder picks up his first personal team foul number three. And checking into the Wildcat lineup now is Chase Grotewald. Tonight's game on KSOU brought to you in part by DRG Mechanical Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Green World, Bruns, Dennis Green, the only bar and grill. Dunkerton with the basketball at the top of the circle, Nick Anderson. Anderson flips the ball out front. It goes to Rigdon. Rigdon to Kunstling. Back over to Anderson. Anderson on a crossover move. Drives the baseline and draws a foul. That foul is going to be charged to Chase Grotewald. His first personal. It'll be Dunkerton's basketball out of bounds. And out front, it comes to the top of the circle to Rigdon. Rigdon over to the right wing, Anderson. Anderson into Kunstling with the left hand. Jump hook off the mark. Battle for the rebound. Higher comes away with it for West Lyon. And the Wildcats will come back with the basketball. Still up 8-2. to two. Snyder stops. Pops a three. No good. Kunstling with the rebound for Dunkerton. They'll run the break to the layup on the other end for Nick Anderson. Good look down the floor by Kunstling off the rebound and an easy bucket for Dunkerton to make the lead 8-4. to four. Now West Lyon with the basketball. Snyder at the top of the key. Left corner to higher. Out to Murley. Now to Snyder. Three ball. Good. Three-pointer for Brandon Snyder. 11-4. to four. West Lyon with the advantage. A minute 56 left to go in the first quarter. Dunkerton with the basketball. Wildcats again with some pressure. Into the front court is Trevor Jacobson. Over to Anderson. Now to Rigdon. Rigdon at the top of the circle. Between the circles. Rigdon comes left side. Lobs it into Kunstling. Kunstling spins baseline. His shot off the mark. Rebound is controlled by Dunkerton. And now uh, Jacobson into the lane. His pass across the lane. Stolen away by Heyer. And West Lyon winds up with the basketball. Another Snyder three is off the mark. Kunstling grabs the rebound. 
And he gets it down the floor, almost stolen, but Jacobson with it down the lane. In for the layup. No, wave it off. Offensive foul called on Trevor Jacobson of Dunkerton. West Lyon will have the basketball coming the other way. A minute ten left to go here in the first quarter. Derek Gamerdinger, a 6'2 senior, checks into the Dunkerton lineup. Tonight's broadcast on KSOU is courtesy of BGL Livestock Trucking, Cruise and Cruise PC, Meyer Electric of Larchwood, Northwest Iowa Community College. In the front court, Wildcats, B.J. Van Ruckel muscles it up and in. No, oh, he's going to be called for traveling. And a Wildcat turnover gives the ball back to uh, Dunkerton. Wildcats turn it over. Dunkerton will get the basketball back. So the Wildcats continue going inside right at Koonsling. Now he has two personal fouls here already. So if they could pick up a third on him, and the Wildcats would be uh, in pretty good shape. Koonsling would almost have to go to the bench then. Here's Rigdon into the front court for the Raiders. Fires it down the floor to the baseline. Cubits. Cubits finds Anderson through the lane. His shot off the mark. B.J. Van Ruckel with the rebound. Van Ruckel, one of the top rebounders here through two games at the state tournament. 30 seconds left to go in the first quarter. West Lyon 11 and Dunkerton 4. Snyder picks up his dribble, now backs it up. Now left side pass to Grotewald. Back it comes to Snyder. Wildcats are running to run the clock down on this first quarter. Snyder on the dribble into the lane. Dishes it ahead to Higher. Higher cut off on the baseline. Outlet to Snyder. Three. Off the mark. Offensive rebound to Higher. Kicks it out to Snyder. Up the dribble. Top of the circle. Yes! A two from the top of the key for Brandon Snyder. And that's the end of the first quarter. Our score, West Lyon 13. Dunkerton 4. We'll be back with the start of the second quarter from Wells Fargo Arena after a two-minute break. You're listening to West Lions State Tournament Basketball on KSOU. Hey, Fred, how's it going today? Oh, pretty good. I sure wish I knew how to get my silage pile more even. I know how you can do that. How's that? You get an easy rake silage defacer from Post Equipment, and you can quick attach it right from the loader cab and don't have to get out and unhook. Really? It's that easy? You bet they have models for all types of loaders, from 6-foot lengths to 20-foot. Call for a demo. They're on the web at postequip.com or call 476-4500. The Taste of Home Cooking Schools coming to Grand Falls Casino Resort. Grab your friends, your family, your neighbor, and your spatula and join us at Grand Falls on Tuesday, April 8th at 7 p.m. Learn seasonal recipes that are perfect for every holiday, occasion, and skill level and can be made with simple ingredients to create memorable meals in your own home. To learn more, visit GrandFallsCasinoResort.com or call 712-777-7777. Taste of Home Cooking School, Tuesday, April 8th. Sponsored by Hy-Vee and Roost TV and Appliance. Can West Rock construction of Rock Valley build you a cattle barn? You'd better believe it. You say you don't have a clue as to what you want? That's not a problem either. The guys at West Rock have a whole lineup of cattle barn plans for you to check out, and they can get it built for you with no problem. If you'd like to tour some cattle barns that they've already completed, just call West Rock Construction for a tour at 712-982-2007. That's 982-2007. VRG Mechanical Incorporated Plumbing and Heating is pleased to provide residential and commercial customers alike with sales and servicing of Bosch geothermal heat pumps. Lowering your utility bills has never been easier with Bosch's Energy Star rated geothermal heat pumps. They use the relative constant temperature of the earth to provide heating, air conditioning, and hot water. Find out more about the Bosch geothermal systems at drgmechanical.com or call DRG Mechanical at 800-745-6970 in Rock Rapids at 472-2248. And also in George at 475-3701. 14 to 4, West Lyon in front of Dunkerton as we start the second quarter of this Class 1A state championship game. Dunkerton with the basketball. Jordan Cubitz 
with it. Inbounds, it comes to Trevor Jacobson. Now Cubits across the timeline and into the front court. Near side pass to Reagan. West Ryan keeping the pressure on defensively. Kunzling uh, into the lane, dishes off to a cutter. Trevor Jacobson up off the glass and in for two. 13 to 6. Here come the Wildcats. Bow, Bauman in the lane, tipped from behind by Kunzling. Cubits with the rebound and Dunkerton with the basketball back. Cubits into the front court. Cubits to the top of the key. Kunzling. Kunzling over to the left side. It comes to Jacobson. Jacobson now in the corner. There's a three on the way for Cubits. No good. Higher trying to grab the rebound away from a Gamer Dinger. And it goes out of bounds. It'll be Dunkerton's basketball. Wildcats really hitting the boards hard in this uh, first uh, half. Surprisingly, though, just an 11 to 10 rebound advantage for the Wildcats. Inbounds pass. Kunstling to the top of the key. Cubits. Cubits around the left side. Jacobson, baseline jumper, left corner, shot up and no good. Offensive rebound grabbed by Dunkerton. Rigged on the weak side. And it's Kunstling out on the right wing, hitting the mid-range jumper. And it's 13-8 to in favor of West Lyon. West Lyon with the basketball, Snyder, top of the circle, Grunewig. Grunewig drives left side, nice feet across the lane, higher, trying to go up, Kunzling with the block, and the loose ball is picked up by Rigdon, and he is fouled by Higher. Caleb Higher picks up his first personal, and that is the fifth team foul charged to the Wildcats. Into the Dunkerton lineup now comes Zach Fisher. He'll return to the lineup, replacing Derek Gamerdinger. Again, the full-court press put on by West Lyon. Man-to-man full-court press. Jacobson into the front court guarded by Murley. Jacobson with the basketball. Bounces to Kunzling. Kunzling being muscled up by Bauman. Kunzling into the corner. Now to the top of the circle it comes to Rigdon. Off the dribble on the wing, a foul called against West Lyon. Foul charge to Kyle Grunewig, that's his first personal. Team foul number six on the Wildcats. Tonight's game on KSOU brought to you in part by Caswell Plumbing and Heating, Farmers Elevator Cooperative, Security Savings Bank, and Luthal Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical. Here's the inbounds pass for Dunkerton. Kunzling down the lane, puts it up off the glass and in. For Kunzling, just his second bucket of the game, 13 to 10. Dunkerton is drawn to within three, and now back the other way. Cody Bauman in the lane, up and in as it rolls in. Nice touch. Now steal. Murley up and in for the layup, off the turnover. 17 to 10, West Lyon pushes their advantage right back up to seven points. Jacobson into the front court, nearly stolen away again, but Jacobson picks up the dribble. Out it comes to Rigdon. Rigdon down the left side, flips it out to the wing uh, to Cubitz. Cubitz to the top of the circle, it comes to Zach Fisher. Out of the right wing, a long three is short. But a foul called underneath against West Lyon. Cowles foul whistled on uh, Cody Bauman, and that's his second personal. Timeout on the floor. 527 left to go until halftime. West Lyon 17, Dunkerton 10. Uh, we'll be back after a two-minute break. You're listening to West Lyon State Tournament Basketball on KSOU. 527 left to go until halftime. West Lyon leading Dunkerton 18 to 10. At the free throw line is Kunstling. He misses. And the Wildcats come away with a rebound. Higher. Now Dunkerton coming out of the timeout, picking up the pressure defensively. Murley with it, flips the ball up to Snyder. Snyder, Snyder will direct traffic for West Lyon. They go in the lane to Higher. 
higher posting up, sends it back out high to Snyder. He's guarded by Anderson. Snyder into the lane, uh, pulls up, flips the ball out. Grunewick three, too strong. And the rebound is snaked by Rigdon. Good job, Brock, blocking out that time by Rigdon. Otherwise, higher could have had another offensive rebound. Kunstling in the lane, muscles it up, short, good defense in there by Van Ruckel of West Lyon, and it's Van Ruckel coming down with a basketball. Snyder into the front court for the Wildcats. Snyder to the near side, Grunewig into higher, turnaround jumper, up and in, and one. The foul underneath on Rigdon. Wildcats posting up Caleb a higher. He's got a, about a four-inch advantage on Bryce Rigdon down there. Rigdon picks up the personal. And as Caleb higher to the free throw line, he'll shoot a pair for a West Lion. 18 to 10 in favor of the Wildcats. Jordan Cubitz checks in to the Dunkerton lineup. And Caleb Hires free throw is up and no good off the back of the rim for one and one. Kunstling with the rebound and trying to run is Dunkerton. Anderson had the ball poked away from behind and West Lyon has it back. Snyder now flips it out to Murley. Over to Snyder on the wing. Top of the key. Grunewig three. It's an air ball. And lands out of bounds on the baseline. Dunkerton will get the basketball back. Tonight's game on KSOU is brought to you in part by Post Equipment, Grand Falls Casino, Meyer Electric of Larchwood, and West Rock Construction. Four minutes remaining in this first half. 20-10, to 10, West Lyon with the lead, Dunkerton with the basketball, Nick Anderson feeds into Kunstling, turnaround jumper up and good, Kunstling with the baseline, got the ball in a good position that time, and it's a 20-12 to 12 West Lyon advantage, Snyder down the lane, he draws a foul going to the basket and he'll head to the free throw line. The foul was on Nick Anderson, his first personal. 20 to 12 in favor of West Lyon. 3.37 left to go until half. Time out on the floor. We'll be back in two minutes. You're listening to West Lyon State Tournament Basketball on KSOU. Are you looking for more than just tax preparation at your tax appointment this year? Look to the tax professionals at Cruise and Cruise Certified Public Accountants for your tax preparation and get answers to your questions about your financial future. At Cruise and Cruise, they can discuss your retirement, estate, and business concerns. From bookkeeping to payroll services, they can help with your business needs. Cruise and Cruise is committed to maintaining high professional standards and strives for excellence in all areas of service to their clients. Cruise and Cruise Certified Public Accountants, serving Northwest Iowa and beyond, with offices in Sioux Center and Lamar's. Northwest Iowa Community College is your local award-winning college. The Aspen Institute, a national educational and policy studies organization, has named NCC among the top 150 best community colleges in the nation for three years in a row. Engineering design student Brian Barrios of Primgar says, I like taking my ideas from start to finish and being able to hold something in my hands and say, I built this. Find out more at nwicc.edu or text THUNDER to 82942. There's a place for you at Northwest Iowa Community College. Caswell Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning is proud to sponsor our Northwest Iowa boys in the state basketball tournament. See Caswell's at Inwood for residential and light commercial work. They feature Lennox furnaces and heat pumps, Moen faucets, and American Standard plumbing fixtures. Caswell's have been serving the tri-state area for over 40 years. It's Caswell Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning of Inwood. Call them at 712-753-4911. This is Brent Meyer from the Farmer's Elevator Co-op. How cattle eat during the first two to three weeks in the feedlot often determines how they perform for the rest of the feeding period. Lana Lakes Purina Feeds has developed a variety of feeds to optimize feed intake and feed efficiency. It helps develop a strong immune system and provides protection against disease caused by shipping stress. For your starter feeds, see us at the Farmer's Elevator Co-op in Rock Valley.
back to action here at Wells Fargo Arena as Brandon Snyder knocks down a pair of West Lion free throws. And the Wildcats lead by 10 over Dunkerton, 22-12 in this Class 1A state championship contest. Anderson with it over left side, Fisher. Fisher gives the ball up to Jacobson. Down through the hands of Kunstling. Picked up from behind, Zach Fisher with the layup. And it's 22-14, West Lyon with the lead. 3.08 left to go until halftime. West Lyon with the basketball, Casey Murley to the top of the key. Grunewig, left side, Snyder. Now higher along the baseline. Back out it comes to Murley. Top of the key is Snyder. Snyder down the lane, cut off. Dishes, left wing, Murley. Yes, three times. Casey Murley from deep in the left wing. 25-14, West Lyon with their biggest lead of the first half. Dunkerton with the basketball. They break the pressure and over and back violation on Dunkerton. They got it ahead to Kunstling, but he stepped back across the line and a Dunkerton turnover. That's their eighth of the first half. And West Lyon will get the basketball back. Into the front court. Brandon Snyder for West Lyon. Snyder out to the left wing, higher. Back to Grunewig, top of the key, Snyder. Now to Van Ruckel. Van Ruckel trying to muscle it up on Hunsling. And an offensive foul called on B.J. Van Ruckel. Hunsling was absolutely not set there in defensive position. So I don't know. I couldn't see from my vantage point whether... Van Ruckel lowered his shoulder or not, but an offensive foul nonetheless, and Dunkerton will get the basketball back. Anderson through the lane has his pocket pick, stolen by Van Ruckel. Here come the Wildcats. Snyder, pull-up jumper from the free throw line is good. That's 11 for Brandon Snyder, 27-14 in favor of West Lyon. A minute 57 left to go in this first half. Dunkerton with the basketball. Kunstling on the high post. Kunstling swings it out to the left wing, Cubitz. Cubitz now to the top of the key, Anderson. Anderson circles around to the right wing, looking, looking to the top of the key. It comes to Fisher. Now stolen by Snyder down the floor to higher layup. Good. Caleb Heyer as the Wildcats take advantage of another turnover to make it 29-14 to with a minute 25 left to go until halftime. Anderson into the front court. And the Wildcats again pick up the pressure. They try to trap. Here's Anderson off the drive, tipped away from behind. Grunewig saves it from going out of bounds, picked up by Snyder. Here comes West Lyon into the lane. Snyder dishes left side. Heyer for the layup and one. Caleb Heyer will head to the free throw line to try to complete a three-point play. 31 to 14 in favor of West Lyon with a minute four left to go in this first half. Gary Chase Grotewald has checked into the West Lion lineup. Tonight's game, courtesy of DRG Mechanical Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, Green World, Bruns Dentistry, and the only Bar and Grill. 104 left to go in the half. Higher at the free throw line for West Lion, and his free throw is up and no good. Kunstling grabs the rebound. For Dunkerton into the front court, Bryce Rigdon across the timeline, picked up by Grunewig, trying to pass to Kunstling. Ball knocked loose by Van Ruckel. Murley with it on the floor, able to flip it out to Snyder, and a foul in the backcourt will put Brandon Snyder to the free throw line for West Lyon. A wild chance of seized the momentum here in this first half, leading 31 to 14. Jordan Cubitz picks up the personal. Snyder to the line. Free throw up. Free throw good. 32 to 14. West Lyon with an 18 point advantage and 50 seconds left to go in the first half. 
And the second free throw is also good. Brandon Snyder with 13 points. 33 to 14, another steal through the lane is Grunaway as he gets tripped up and hits the floor hard. A foul on Dunkerton will put Grunaway to the line shooting two. And that foul, I believe, was on Trevor Jacobson. That's his second personal. Grunewake to the line to shoot a pair for West Lyon. Tonight's game brought to you in part by BGL Livestock Trucking, Cruise and Cruise PC. Also by Meyer Electric of Larchwood and Northwest Iowa Community College. First free throw up and good for Kyle Grunewake. It's a 20-point West Lyon lead. Second free throw is up and rims out. No good. Kunstling grabs the rebound. And West Lyon, or rather Dunkerton, will come back with the basketball. Rigdon into the front court. Left side pass to Cubitz into Kunstling. And a foul underneath called on West Lyon. will put Kunstling to the line. B.J. Van Ruckel picks up a third personal foul. So Van Ruckel now with three. Casey Murley will return to the Wildcat lineup. And it's Kunstling stepping to the free throw line. The 6'11 senior is a 67% free throw shooter on the year. And he's to the line for a one and one. Team foul number eight on West Lyon. Free throw no good. Caleb Heyer with another rebound. He's got six boards for the Wildcat. Make it seven boards for the Wildcats in this first half. Snyder dribbles through the trap to hire the kick out to Grunewig, and the Wildcats will hold for the final shot of the half, leading 34 to 14. Tonight's game courtesy of Caswell Plumbing and Heating, Farmers Elevator Cooperative, Security Savings Bank, and Luthold Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical. Snyder fires it ahead through the hands of Grotewald. It was tipped away, though, and out of bounds off of Kunstling. 1.5 seconds left to go in the first half. Bauman will check back into the Wildcat lineup with 1.5 seconds. Higher will trigger it in from the far sideline. See if they try to lob in for Bauman. Instead, it comes to Grunewake. Three at the buzzer. Rolls off. No good. We've come to halftime. West Lyon, 34. Dunkerton, 14. We'll be back with the High V Halftime Report. After we take a three-minute timeout, you're listening to West Lyon State Tournament Basketball on KSOU. Back here at Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines on the High V Halftime Report, Class 1A State Championship game. The West Lyon Wildcats leading the Dunkerton Raiders by a score of 34 to 14. West Lyon grabbed an 8 to nothing lead in the first two and a half minutes at the start of this game and led it 13 to 4 at the end of the first quarter. Dunkerton got uh, six straight points at the start of the second quarter to cut it to three at 13 to 10, but West Lyon answered with a seven point run to stretch their lead up to 10. And now the biggest lead of the first half for West Lyon as they scored the final 12 points of the first half. And the Wildcats are leading the Raiders by 20, 34 to 14. The High V Halftime Report is brought to you by the Sioux Center High V. We'll have more from Des Moines after this from High V. You're listening to West Lyon State Tournament Basketball on KSOU. Save big on gas at your Sioux Center Hy-Vee Pharmacy with the Hy-Vee Fuel Saver Program. You can earn $1 off per gallon for any transferred and filled prescription or $0.05 cents off per gallon on any refilled prescription. Purchase of a transfer prescription from a non hy pharmacy is required. Start saving today with the Hy-Vee Fuel Saver Program. Call your Sioux Center Hy-Vee Pharmacy at 722-3516. Some restrictions do apply. See store for details.
back here at Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines on the High V Halftime Report. West Lion 34, Dunkerton 14 in the championship game of this Class 1A state tournament. First half totals go like this. Brandon Snyder leads all scorers with 13. Caleb Heyer has added six. Casey Murley, five. Cody Bauman, four. And Kyle Grunewig with three to round out the first half scoring totals for West Lyon. West Lyon was 12 of 26 from the floor in the first half for 46.2%. They went three of nine from behind the arc for 33.3%. And seven of 11 at the free throw line for 63.6%. For uh, Dunkerton, they were led by Corey Kunstling, who had six points in the first half. Nick Anderson with four. Trevor Jacobson and Zach Fisher with two points apiece as the Wildcats played an aggressive defense. Going uh, full court man-to-man pressure and trapping and forcing a number of turnovers. And uh, Dunkerton with only 14 at first half points. They shot 7 of 21 from the floor for 33.3%. They were 0 for 3 from the arc and 0 for 2 at the free throw line. Dunkerton with a slight advantage rebounding, out rebounding West Lyon 18 to 15. Corey Kunzling has uh, 7 points and Kayla, or, uh, 7 rebounds. Caleb Heyer leads West Lyon with eight first half rebounds. And uh, as far as turnovers, uh, Dunkerton with the 12 first half turnovers, five turnovers in the first half for the Wildcats. And seven assists for West Lyon in the first half. Brandon Snyder has dished out five. At the half, West Lyon leading Dunkerton in the Class 1A state championship game 34 to 14. I'll have more from Wells Fargo Arena after this three-minute break. You're listening to West Lyon.